everybody. Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. <laughs> okay, what are we doing today? Well, today I thought I'd give you something special. I had a couple viewers out there ask me, hey Jeff, you find a lot of gold, but have you ever found a meteorite? And I thought about it and said, no, you know what? I've never even looked. So what we've done is we've gone out and did a whole bunch of research on it and talked to a couple people who are good at finding meteorites and they told us the equipment we need and the equipment we don't need and a good place to go find meteorites. So we went out and sure enough, we got some meteorites ourselves. So I'm gonna tell you everything I know so you can go out and get your own meteorites. So here we go. Okay, now, equipment, what are you gonna need? Well, a lot of guys out there will tell you that you need a VLF detector, and this is our White's Gold Master, but I'm here to tell you that you don't need a VLF detector. Actually, you don't need a detector at all, so you can leave that at home. So, what do you need? Well, what you do want to get is a nice three to four foot long stick and a neodymium magnet to put on the end of it, and that's really all you need. Now, some guys try to get away with a ceramic magnet, but I'm here to tell you that ain't going to work because the majority of your meteorites out there are called condorites, which are stony-based meteorites. And they don't have a lot of nickel or iron in them, so you want a super strong magnet on the end because it's not gonna be easy to pick up with a ceramic. So go ahead and get yourself one of those first, and then I'll tell you where to go. So here we go. Okay, so what do you wanna do? Well, you wanna find yourself a dry lake bed. Uh, preferably a dry lake bed that hasn't seen a lot of people on it for quite some time. And then what you're gonna do, and make sure you got plenty of water, is you're gonna walk out across that dry lake bed with your stick and your magnet. And anything that looks unusual, you're gonna put your magnet on there and see if it sticks to it. Now, in this particular scenario, we found a couple out here, actually a whole handful of meteorites. And here's a good example right here. Come here, take a look at this. This is uh, one of the meteorites that we found down here on the dry lake bed. And you can see where it's got some pitting in it right there. See that, isn't that beautiful? Where it came through outer space, I would imagine, and landed down here. And so what we did is, if you notice, we're coming along with our neodymium magnet, and you see that? That ain't gonna pick nothing up there. And we got up to this, and voila, look at that. Ain't that the beautiful thing to see? Sticks right to it. Now, I'm sure if that was a ceramic magnet, it wouldn't work with a darn, so. What we did is we went through a big section of this dry lake bed and we found about two dozen of these small pieces. So we're gonna go through here and collect up a couple more and then I'm gonna show you the best pieces. So here we go. Okay. So we went through and uh, we checked out this lower section of the dry lake bed and we collected up some of the better pieces. Come here, I want you to take a look at this. I mean, it's only obvious these are meteorites. Look at this one. See that? Ain't that something? And then here's some more right here, and some of them got these little craters and pits in them. But you can actually see the metal on this one and how it's got that sheen to it. I mean, it's only obvious that that's a meteorite right, right there. Look at that. See that smooth surface right there? Isn't that nice? Okay, so one other thing I forgot to mention is um, you're going to want to be able to keep a, a log of where you find all your meteorites. So uh, keep a GPS on you at all times. That way when you come up on one, you can write down a location and keep a little log book too. Cause sometimes uh, you're gonna come across some really rare meteorites. And of course there's gonna be people out there who are interested in where it came from. But for the most part, they're gonna be condorites, which is a very common meteorite that nobody really cares about. But they do come from outer space and that's the most interesting thing. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's little short film on finding meteorites and how to go about doing it. And as always, if you like today's episode, Please rate, share, and subscribe. And as always, leave me a comment because I really want to know what you guys got to say about all this stuff. So anyway, until next time, this is Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying if you want some rocks from above, you got to get out there and do what you love. Take care. <laughs>